we've got a blue Subaru Crosstrek, I believe. I think that's what this is. It's been a while since I sprayed this. I'm just gonna go over what we do when we are painting. We ended up repairing this hood. I believe it was covered in rock chips. So we wanted to sand and feather it all that paint. You don't wanna fill rock chips with filler. You actually wanna sand them and feather it out and then prime it. The primer is used as kind of like a leveler. Then you block that flat and then you're left with a nice flat panel. Every color panel, we final sand that in 600 grit. Blend panels like the fenders here are 800 grit. Letting our sealer lay down here. The ECS series of sealer. This called for a G5, we're going G5. Got the blue in the gun. Nice thing about sealer, gives you a nice even uniform color for your base coat to go on. And the other beautiful thing about it is it's double-sided sticky paint. It really likes to stick to primer and e-coats and base coat really likes to adhere to the sealer. You get the nice good mechanical adhesion, but you get the nice chemical adhesion between the two with this as well. And the Luma Exodus OP 1.3, definitely my favorite gun. I know some people don't like the Sun Pro light, but I absolutely love it. It's good to see everything in the booth. I got a good booth lighting already, but that extra bit of light is nice. It's also great for checking coverage after you get your base coat on. And the third aspect of why I love it is when I'm checking colors before I go in the booth, I can hold up my spray oil card against the panel and see if it's gonna be a good color match or not. Base coat's on. This one was almost one coat coverage. I ended up putting a second coat on, blend it out, get it ready for clear, smooth as butter, let her dry. You want it to be fully dehydrated until you, you clear Otherwise, you might risk delamination of the clear coat. Same brand of gun, but with a 1.5 using Matrix EG40 Euro style clear. This combo is absolutely deadly. I cannot sing its praises more. I always get amazing results with these two. I think my light, did I die here or did I forget to turn it on? Oh, I must have forgot to turn it on. It's on now. I always do that every once in a while. It's like, this seems funny. Why is this spraying so weird? Oh yeah, my light isn't on. 75% overlap. Call it five inches to the panel. I'm spraying at 22 PSI to the gauge. Full fluid. Fan, maybe uh, turn in. And then the second coat, if especially doing a hood, you want it to be laid out like glass. Go 80, 85% overlap. Tighten it up, but keep the same speed. Well, if you got anything useful out of this video, please watch more of my content. You might find some valuable information in there. You might learn a thing or two. So check out my other videos, watch something else, and let me know what you guys think of these videos. Just kind of running through uh, the work that I end up doing in the shop. So leave a suggestion for other video ideas and I will get around to making it.